300 million years ago, towering green giants ruled Earth's swampy lowlands and one of the most remarkable was Sigillaria. During the late Carboniferous and well into the early Permian, these strange, tree-like lycopsids shaped entire landscapes. Reaching heights of up to 30 meters, Sigillaria was not a true tree but a spore-producing relative of modern club mosses. Its tall, mostly unbranched trunk was marked with a distinct pattern of diamond-shaped leaf scars, each representing where a long, grass-like leaf had once grown. Most of its foliage clustered near the top, giving it a palm-like silhouette when viewed from a distance. Reproduction relied on spores, produced in cone-like structures called strobili, usually found near the crown. Below the surface, a shallow stigmarian root system anchored it in waterlogged, low-oxygen soils of the swamp. During both the late Carboniferous and early Permian, Sigillaria, along with relatives like Lepidodendron, formed dense forests that supported diverse life from giant dragonflies to early amphibians and reptile-like synapsids. The remains of these plants built up as peat, which over millions of years transformed into the coal deposits we mine today. But as the Permian progressed, global climates shifted, swamps dried, and gymnosperms began to dominate, pushing lycopsids into decline. By the middle Permian, Sigillaria vanished completely, leaving behind fossil impressions and coal seams as the last traces of a once-dominant plant lineage. 